This left hip is first being viewed from the paratrochanteric space, which is the space just to the side of the greater trochanter. A viewing portal for the subgluteal space is being prepositioned with a spinal needle, and a cannula is then introduced. This is placed just behind the greater trochanter. Once the cannula is in place, the arthroscope is then switched to this site. We will now be looking in the subgluteal space, which is basically the space just deep to the gluteus maximus muscle. A working portal for introducing the instruments is then placed just above the viewing portal. Looking in the subgluteal space, there are a number of adhesions and scar tissue and small thin veils of fat that must first be cleared out to properly visualize the structures within this area. Clearing the field to view the pertinent structures, especially the sciatic nerve and the piriformis, is performed with the shaver. Once this tissue is cleared, the sciatic nerve will come into view running horizontally at the bottom of the screen. That's the nerve running across the bottom. There's a little nutrient vessel within its substance. The piriformis will be running perpendicular to the nerve running from top to bottom. This is the lower edge of the piriformis over the top of the sciatic nerve. Once the piriformis has been fully identified, it is then transected at the myotendinous junction. This is where the muscle belly transforms into the tendon and the stump of the tendon is then resected back to its insertion onto the back side of the greater trochanter. The muscular portion must then be dissected back to the sciatic knots to make sure that the nerve is fully freed all the way up to where it exits from inside the pelvis at the sciatic notch. There's a fibrovascular band at the lower border of the piriformis which must be resected as well. Careful coagulation of these small vessels is important as they lie close to the sciatic nerve. Once the decompression is complete, the sciatic nerve can be inspected all the way from where it exits the sciatic notch down distally into the back side of the thigh, making sure that it has been fully freed up throughout its course in the subgluteal region.